Okay, adding metadata. First thing we're going to want to do, well, I, I did anyway, was make a new destination for this export with all the correct uh, parameters. Like we got video and audio, 264, resolution, same as source. So we know that can't go wrong as long as you imported it correctly. Uh, and then we're going to go down to file, share, and use our export. Uh, I don't care about this name, but I'll go ahead and give the file a name here. Very good. All right. Now that file is saving, but because we're changing some sizes of things, this is going to take some time. There we go. It's just about through. It's through. It opened the file and let us know. Okay, so let me quit this. So oh, no, I don't want to close that. Cancel. Uh, okay. And then we're going to. Minimize Final Cut. Let me close that. There we go. Okay, and close that. Okay, and here is the file and the YouTube 360 metadata tool. Okay, so we're going to open it up and open the file. Oh, it's grayed out. You see that? I forgot. So this has to be an MP4, but QuickTime move files are MPEG 4s so we can just add MP4 to it. Normally this is not a good way to change video formats because it really doesn't do anything to the information, but now you can see we can open it. Um, here we go. No metadata found. We're going to make it spherical. And it adds that injected to it, so here it goes. And there it is. Still processing. Okay, now the metadata tool is done. And that's it.